This is Five Minute Power Platform. Today we're building the second half of our split flat board. If you remember from the first one, the split flat board is this kind of train station style. This is Frankfurt Airport, kind of rotating spindle, old school digital display. In the first one, we built out the canvas components and the basic structure of the board so that we can feed it data from an input control. In the second one, then we're gonna set up the flows so that you can actually populate this from Outlook and from Teams and from Twitter, and then from there, from whatever else you want to that you can connect into with Flow. So we're gonna start with the basis that we did in the first video. If you didn't watch that, the link is in the description, and we're gonna take this basis and we're gonna start connecting it to external data. So now I've got a split flat board uh, in Power Apps where we can control the text uh, through an input box, but we want them to be able to feed this from different sources that we've got in our life. We're gonna do Outlook, Twitter, and Teams. And so to do that, we're, we'll use CDS as kind of the central gathering point for those, where we'll, we'll gather those messages from different sources. So here we'll start a new entity in CDS, and we're gonna call this the split flat feed. And the display name, this is where we'll put the actual message that we wanna show. Uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna ignore record security on here. It doesn't make much sense right now for this. Uh, and I always like to turn on the change tracking for flow. You never know. So the message, uh, we really don't have more than 36 letters we can show, but we'll make it uh, 700 random number just to be safe. And then also we're gonna add a field for the source. The source would probably make a great option set so that we have control over the values that are gonna go in there. They're all in the same way, but uh, I'm just gonna make it text just for now for simplicity's sake. We don't need to set up any views or forms because we're not going to build a model-driven app. We're just going to use CDS as a data source directly with our, uh, our Canvas app. So once this saves then, we can go and we'll start doing the flows that are going to populate CDS. And at the end, we'll then use that data in our, uh, model, in our Canvas app. So let's start by creating a Twitter flow. So here we'll do uh, um, flip from tweets. And so our tr trigger is going to be Twitter. We're going to do when a new tweet is posted. Now we're going to use uh, Phil's Flowbot here. This is my test account. So we're going to make sure that we only post things that are from at Phil's Flowbot. And then the next thing we do is pretty easy. We're just going to go into Common Data Service and post it there. So create a new record, current environment. Our entity is uh, split flat feeds. The message is going to be, for this one, it's going to be the tweet text. And then the source is Twitter. So let's do this. Let's save this one. Test it. I'll perform the trigger action. And then once it picks up, we'll do a hello from Twitter. From Twitter. Tweet that. While that's running, let's do uh, let's do a new one over here. We'll do automated, and this one will be Teams. So we'll do flip from Teams, and so our connector, our trigger is going to be Teams. It's going to be when a new channel message is added. So we'll do new, create. Teams ID is going to be split flat board, and then I've got a channel specifically that we're going to monitor the split flat feed channel. And then we'll do the exact same thing except for Teams. So we're going to do the common data service. We're going to create a new record. Use the environment we're in now. Any name, split flat feeds. So we need to choose the text. The message on Teams is a little tricky. It's actually the message body content, and the source is going to be Teams. We'll save this, put it in test mode, and we'll give it a shot. So we'll say, hello uh, from Teams. And then finally, let's create a new one here for Outlook. So we'll say flip from Outlook. And then this one's going to be Outlook trigger when a new uh, email arrives. Do it from the inbox. Second part's pretty easy. Common data service. Create a new record. We're in our Contoso environment. Want our uh, split flat feeds entity. There it is. We're going to use the uh, email subject as the text, and we're going to set the source as Outlook. Save this. 
put it in test mode. Wait for it to pick up there. And then we'll send a new email. We'll say hello from Outlook. Send that and let's go back and let's test each one of our flows here. So tweets says it ran successfully. Teams says it ran successfully and Outlook just ran successfully. So if we come down here, we should be able to see the data in the common data service and we see we have one record for each. So good, so now we're on the other side of that, we have our data. So now it's time then to go back into our model driven app and let's start using it. So let's get back into edit mode here. I'm just gonna move this stuff off to the side here. Uh, we're gonna use a different set of buttons and then eventually get rid of those. But we are gonna use this var message that we set, that's gonna be important because we don't wanna go through the process of rewiring these. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to connect to our uh, common data service. We've got our entity here. Uh, let's see, see all entities, split fat feeds, that's the one we're gonna use, so we're gonna connect into that. And then we're gonna create a new button here. And we're just gonna use this for testing, so I'm not gonna bother naming it or anything. And on this one, we're gonna just call uh, refresh our split flap feeds. And so that's gonna go back and basically pull new data. And then we're gonna get the, the topmost record, the most, uh, the most recent record, because we can only show one. And so we don't care if many were added, we just want the last one. So we want the first record, and we need to sort these. So we're gonna do sort by columns. We're gonna sort split flap feeds by column created on and descending. So basically this will give us a reverse chronological list. We're gonna pluck the first one off and that'll give us that particular split flap feed record. So we'll set that to a var record. And then because we already have our var message set, we're then gonna take the one of the uh, message value out of that and set that to var message so we don't need to go touch all those uh, 36 controls again. So we're gonna say, set the message out of that current record to var message. And so now we should, if we play this, we should be able to hit this button. And we should get uh, whatever the last message we put in there, I think it was Outlook. So we should get uh, the test from Outlook showing up here. Hello from Outlook, okay. So now uh, let's see, let's add on our title. Uh, let's get rid of this and this now. And let's add on our title. Our title is going to be uh, arriving, All right, like a kind of an airport board here, arriving now from, and uh, let's make this, let's change the font here. We don't want to look like every other, uh, every other app out there. So we're going to choose a different font. We're going to make it big, 60 uh, white font. So it shows up a little better. And so now we're gonna put the icon of the source to the right of this, and that's why we defined the sources there. So let's first upload those, and so we'll go to uh, View, Media, and we'll browse, and I've got the icons for the three sources we used, and so we'll add those. Now those are there, then we can add an image on here, so we'll do Insert Image, put that over here. We'll just set, uh, uh, let's just set one of them so we can see how it looks. Set Outlook there, looks pretty good. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set, set that, we're gonna set that from a switch statement. Switch is like an if, but it's like an if, 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 if. And so we're gonna say from our current record, that's the one we pulled out of uh, the common data service, we're gonna take the source text. And if the source is Twitter, we're gonna show our Twitter image. Right, you see data type image, so we've got the right thing. And if it's Teams, we're gonna show our Teams image. And if it's Outlook, we're gonna show our Outlook image. So now it says arriving now from Outlook. So now the next thing we wanna do then is we wanna take this button, instead of having a button, we wanna then have a timer run that. So we'll have it run every five or 10 or 30 seconds or whatever and update itself. And so we'll go in here to input, go into timer, put that down here. This timer is gonna basically go back and check for new information and then refresh this for us. We'll do it every five seconds, 5,000 milliseconds for testing. And so we also want it to auto start and repeat. So it's gonna count up five seconds, it's gonna start over every time, every, every, when, it gets to the, when it gets done. And then when the timer ends, we want it to call all the stuff that we've been calling here. So I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste that in here. So refresh the feed, set the, take the topmost record, so sorting on, created on descending, 
and then set the message from that record to our var message variable that's already mapped into all of these components. So let's pull this out and uh, play it. And meanwhile, we'll keep that there and let's uh, mail in something else in here. So we'll do uh, admin uh, new from Outlook. Let that count up five seconds. New from Outlook. Good, let's do our uh, new from Teams. Let that count up. Yep, flow's still running. We'll do our Twitter one too. The Twitter ones can take a while. New from Twitter. And so hopefully, if we wait for these here, these uh, these will run, and we'll see these update here. Let's take a peek at. Uh, so we can see there we just got uh, our Teams and Twitter ones just picked up. And so we see how new from Teams, and uh, that beat out our Twitter one there. But we do see that you got the Teams icon there. We'll do one more from Twitter. Once more from Twitter. So there we can see the Twitter one finally picked up. One of the letters didn't change, so that one's not moving, so that part's working. Once more from Twitter. So then just the final bit of cleanup on this. Let's put it back in edit mode. Let's set our uh, timer to not visible. We can get rid of this button. We no longer need it, and we're done. We've got it all set up. And so now we've got a final app that uh, they can use a reader board that you can hook up to other sources, really anything that you can hook up to uh, to to flow, you can hook up this to and then use it as a reader board in your office or wherever. So I hope this was useful to you. I had fun making it. Hope you had fun making it too. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or what you thought of it. Thanks very much for watching.